back to Minneapolis High School, Junior Senior High School for the boys contest. Host, the Lions hosting the Sacred Heart Knights. Go ahead, Mike. Now the boys are warming up. We're two minutes away from tip time. And we look forward to a really exciting game here tonight as Sacred Heart brings a very potent offense, a very good basketball team to Minneapolis. And we'll see if the Minneapolis Lions can hold them off here tonight. Sacred Heart, good. Minneapolis, even better over at Ellsworth on Tuesday night. If Minneapolis can carry that momentum into this game, we'll have a pretty good time of it. Minneapolis played very well over at Ellsworth Tuesday night. The Sacred Heart boys are 4-1 and one on the season so far. 1-0 and oh in league. Last Tuesday, they beat Russell by a score of 52 to 31. Common opponent is Solomon. Their opening game, uh, they beat Solomon at home by 19, 76 to 57. Our opening game at Solomon, we beat them 63 to 41 by 22 points. So uh, the Lions are 4-0 in the league, sixth ranks now in the Kansas Basketball Coach Association. 1-0 in the league. Sacred Heart will start for seniors tonight. And we're getting ready for the starting lineup here tonight for Sacred Heart. Number two, Jacob Vandervoort, a 5'9 senior guard. He'll be the point for Minneapolis at the power forward, Andrew Yoxel. For Sacred Heart, the two guard, Shooting guard, Luke Reardon. Another Reardon, he is 6'2", and a senior. For Minneapolis, number five, John Michael Darrow will be the two guard. For Sacred Heart, Brandon Rapp, a 5'11", senior, will be the off guard, three guard. For Minneapolis, on the wing, Alex Johnson. For Sacred Heart, a big guy in down low. He's going to be tough to handle. Brad McKinsky, 6'2", forward, senior for Minneapolis. Alex Yoxel, 6'1", sophomore. For Sacred Heart, he'll be one of the top scorers here is Chavez. Tony Chavez, 6'3", junior, and for Minneapolis, the post, Zach Allison. Well, we're just a minute away from uh, tip-off here. This is a big game for uh, both teams. Yes, Dale. it is. Yes, it is. It's been very tight the last several games we played, though Minneapolis has won the last two games. We've won three of the last four, Mike. The only loss was that one-point loss to Sacred Heart two years ago where Grayson shot, Grayson Jordan shot was blocked or off right at the last second, I can't remember which. I think it was blocked. So the Lions have uh, been successful the last three or four games against the Knights. Let's see if we can continue that here tonight. Well, we match up even better than I thought we would. They might have their hands full down low if we rebound well here tonight. They out jump us though, and they get the tip. Right wing, it goes out front. McKinsky, good man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis. That is Brandon Rapp on the baseline, shot up and in. And in the backcourt, pressure defense by Vandervoort on Darrow. Left wing, Johnson gets a pick from Alex Yoxel. Dribble drive baseline, gets it off to Allison. He's fouled. That's a good one to get right yeah, there. Gotcha. Reardon with a quick foul. Allison with a nice spin move in the paint. Went up with it right off the bat. And he's going to the free throw line to shoot two. Zach Allison, first throw on its way. No good. Sacred Heart is one of the eight teams in our substate this year. 
I will try to keep stats on Yak at the same time. He misses them both, gets his own rebound, shot good. Great move by Zach Allison. Ties it at two. Reardon on the baseline, kicks it back out. Rap on the baseline, he is quick. Way out on top. Dribble drive, he, ooh, blocking foul. That's another one on Reardon. That's a moving screen violation, and he has two. I'll bet they don't like to see that. No, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> He's going to sit on the bench. Number 20 comes in. I thought he stepped out of bounds. He was close to the sideline. Yeah, I thought that was going to be the call. Vandervoort with the pressure in the backcourt. One man press. Gets a pick from Alex. Yoxel shot. Partially blocked. Chavez gets the rebound. Jocks will step out, steps of out of bounds. Yep. Get in control of it. We're going to have to get a hold of this Chavez kid. He is good. He can jump. Jump center and now jumped. That's by a long ways. You touched it last, buddy. Went off your foot. Well, I don't know. I don't really agree with that one, but some people call that home cooking, Dale. We'll take it. <laughs> Andrew Yoxel with the touch. It'll definitely go the other way. That's the line. Nice up and under shot. No good. Allison with some good work on the offensive glass here early in this contest. Two to two. Sacred Heart and Minneapolis. This could be a barn burner. Vanderbilt. Looking inside, gets it off to Chavez. Now the pass over the top, and McKenzie's intercepted by Alex Yoxel, and he'll bring it up. Alex Johnson with the ball down to Darrow. Baseline drive all the way, and he goes. No call. That goes off McKenzie as the ball goes out of bounds to Minneapolis. McKenzie right there on the Defense, I thought maybe John Michael was Alex still Johnson on the floor. Might have got away from yeah. there. Darrow, right wing. Chavez steals. Easy layup. He's a player. Darrow got his pocket pick there. You bet. Johnson. Now Andrew Yoxel. Entry pass. Yes. Chavez catches him with the body and whistled with the foul. Now we get their two best players in foul trouble. We'll be in good shape. That'll help Dale for a while anyway. His first personal third team foul on the Knights. It's 4 to 2, 5.33 remaining in the first quarter. Yoxel's free throw, good. Macy in for Johnson. Four to three. Josh Macy in. Free throw, good. He got them both. Quarrel. Chavez, he can shoot. Off the back rim, no good. Darrell with a good rebound. That pass goes right through the hands of Zach Allison. And out of play. It will be Sacred Hearts ball. I didn't really feel we had a good shot at a transition basket there. We might want her to yeah. pull it back out, but uh, could have went the other way. Vandervoort looking inside. But it worked. It's been a sensational play. Gets it off the wrap. Now Chavez, let him have that baseline. Vandervoort has the ball tipped away by Adaro. Out on top, Josh Martin's playing for the Reardon kid that's sitting on the bench with two fouls. Vandervoort, baseline drive all the way down, gets it off to Martin, shot no good. He is fouled. 
Matt McKenzie's well put together kid, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> Martin is too. Andrew Yoxel's first foul. Martin to the free throw line. That <laughs> rattles that one in. He is the brother of Shayla Martin. Line of line of Another tested kid to get away. Five to four, Sacred Heart. Second throw on its way, you got them both. Knights up six to four, 436 remaining in the quarter. McKenzie gets a rest as Dalton Dooley comes in. Andrew Yoxel with the ball on the left wing, looks for a cutter. Chavez picks him up all the way and he goes. Shot is good. Nice shot. Chavez not wanting to pick up that second foul. And the score is all even at six. Chavez off the back rim, no good. And Vandervoort jumps in there for the rebound. Left wing wrapped. Chavez again, good. Somebody's gotta go guard him. So far, they've allowed him to shoot at will. 8-6, Sacred Heart. Josh Macy, crossover dribble. Out to Andrew Yoxel. Bounce pass to Alex Yoxel. Over to Macy, shot, rimming out. Oh, both kids had a hand on it. That's almost a jump ball, in my opinion, but they are giving that to Minneapolis. Richards in, enters the contest for the Knights. Out front it goes, Andrew. Thinks about a three. Josh all the way in. Shot, no good. Should have went ahead and did the layup, I think. He was there, Vandervoort comes out with the ball. And a walk is the call. Alex Johnson and Zach Allison come in for Alex Johnson and Andrew. Alex Yoxel and Andrew Yoxel, excuse me. Tate Richards in for Sacred Heart. Darrow in the backcourt, 312 left, first quarter, eight to six, Sacred Heart. Johnson tries to dump it down low, oh. Oh, that was last touch by Blue. Gee whiz. Good grief. That was, well, maybe that evened up, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> John Kelly in the contest for Minneapolis. Richards in the corner, out to Vandervoort. Looking for Chavez. Zone defense by Minneapolis here. Vandervoort out front to Chavez to throw it away. Richards can't get to that ball. It sails over his head and out of bounds. Well, it's uh, what we expected, I think, Dale. Yep. AC almost has his pocket pick. He's gonna have to play tough. John Kelly out to Darrow. Scoop shot, good. Eight all, 2-12 to go in the quarter. Chavez, entry pass down low. Back to Vandervoort, free on its way, good. Darrow clears the timeline, down three, Minneapolis as Vandervoort just hit a three ball. And a timeout called by Sacred Heart, 30-second timeout. Excuse me, Minneapolis called that timeout. Well, Dale, a pretty exciting game here. Uh, yeah, I anticipate, as you did also said, a very close game out of two evenly matched squads. And uh, Sacred Heart wants to get some payback. They want to beat Minneapolis. No doubt about it. Again, they are a sub-state team along with Minneapolis, so we'll 
see them at least maybe one time more this year, maybe twice. We shall see. More than likely twice. Big blue. I'm going to have to quit saying that tonight. We'll play it in. Into Johnson. Has an open baseline all the way and he goes. Shot blocked. Kelly with the rebound and he is fouled. John Kelly handy on the spot. Thought Johnson was going to get all the way to the rack. He had a runner about the low block. Shot was blocked. John Kelly right there. Foul was on Josh Martin. His first. Kelly's free throw rims off. Fourth team foul on the Knights. Minneapolis has one. Two out of five from the charity stripe so far for the Lions. Second throw, good. <laughs> Darryl Yoxel, Yoxel back in. 11 to nine. Vandervoort had the ball chipped away by Yoxel. Out front again, Vandervoort with a touch. Has the ball, bounce right off the chest of Chavez, now down low. They're going to call Johnson. that on the floor. Darrow runs up the back of uh, Josh Johnson. Martin. Johnson, actually, I think. Yeah, Johnson. They are going to call that on Alex Johnson. First personal, second team. Substitute for Sacred Heart. Number one, Travis Washinger. Staple of the Wassingers. Salina area. Several seniors on the night squad. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Out front, Wassinger looks down low. They play Aaron Dietrich right now. They play deep. Nice wow, block wow. by Alex Johnson. Woo. One on two. Alex Yoxel. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Andrew's got a sprained knee or something. There. That's an ankle. Roll the ankle. And a walk turnover on their end. He says he's all right. Rolled the ankle down on that end. Doc gives him a pretty good look. And mom's got a worried look on her face, but that's part of basketball. You roll those every now and then. Luck would have it. Sacred Heart turned it over on the other end. They had a five on four. Yes. They're up 11 to nine, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. I don't like a uh, basketball player going one on two just as soon as I would have said something, he would have made that shot. But I'm sure Coach Shoup might ask him to wait on a teammate. Under 25 here, now we have numbers. Chavez tried for another steal. Yoxel on the baseline, all alone for a minute. Chavez comes to get him. Down the nine seconds. Not a good look. That it was. Oh. Johnson from the baseline puts one up at the buzzer. It would have counted. And uh, two shots on the goal. We just couldn't yeah, get them in. Zach thought he had. Time was running out, which it was, but we had enough for another shot after that as the carom went out to Alex Johnson, shot from the baseline, rimmed off. And that's the way the first quarter will end. Circuit Hart with a two-point lead. And we'll be back with second quarter action here in just a minute. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high speed internet, 910 KINA and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New vehicles, including Buick and GMC trucks and SUVs, serving their customers since 1957. Bennett Autoplex, Salina. Welcome back to the Lions Den. Not 
Lions hosting the Knights. And Sacred Heart trailing 11 to nine. Start second quarter. Andrew a little gimpy on that one ankle, but uh, he's gonna play through it. Carroll, three-pointer on its way, good. Oh, it looked good from here, just long. Lined up. Almost gets the steal. Reardon, jump shot, in and out. McKenzie with the rebound, and Zach Allison is gonna be whistled with the push from behind. That's his first personal foul. Be on the floor. And Sacred Heart will play it in. Third team foul, four for the Knights. Richards, shot blocked. Alex Johnson. Darrow loses his footing, but regains possession and smart enough to get the ball to Alex Johnson. Blocked. Yep. Well, an uncharacteristic unforced turnover. We don't have that many of them, but uh, one there as we turn it back over to Sacred Heart. Vandervoort loses control as I think I Alex. Think he tripped over a lion there. <laughs> Might have got away with a reach in, but we'll have to keep an eye on Andrew's right ankle. It's a little gimpy. Hopefully he can play through it. Uh, terrible pass. We give it right back to him. Vandervoort misses a layup. McKinsky over the back. Great defense there by Alex Yoxel to defend that. Vandervoort misses layup the layup. From behind. And he's got raked by a fingernail or something. Has some blood. Josh Macy comes in for Johnson. Coach Stoops letting him know that skip pass that with a zone like that, when they are long and tall, you have to kind of watch that. And with the 1-3-1, one, one, there's a guy on the wing. It's tough to get that skip pass over to the elbow. We've got to hit that shot right there. Yeah, we did. Puts the lines up 12 to 11, I think, for the first time tonight with the lead. It's either that shot or the shot on the other wing by Darrow. If we're hitting those two shots here tonight, we'll be in this ball game. That zone is pretty impressive that Sacred Heart has. It's a 1-3-1, one, one. and they are long. Vandervoort, pass down low, Chavez. He can jump. McKenzie with another quick foul as Alex Yoxel with a nice board, and all of a sudden McKenzie picks up two quick fouls. He'll head to the bench as Martin will come back in. Sixth team foul on the night, three for the Lions. So we have a timeout, 6-19 remaining in the second quarter. Coach Lions leading 12 to 11. Sacred Heart coach wants a 30-second timeout. We'll take one, too. That'd be Pat Martin. Bennington State Bank is proud to support the Minneapolis Lions for the 2011-2012 season. We're proud to be a part of our great community and strive for excellence in our school, curriculum, and athletics. Go Lions in the 11-12 season from Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Salina, Bennington, Minneapolis, Wamego, Sylvan Grove, and Lucas. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Lions Den. I think we're, no, we're not going to see a half-court trap. We're just going to pick them up half-court. Good defensive teams will. Darrow gets a good pick from Zach Allison. Shot is rejected. Now out front, Macy. Yoxo a walk. Twelve eleven, Minneapolis, 6.03. We're just underway here in the second quarter. Sacred Hearts in town. The boys. Blocking foul to the call on Alex Johnson. Oh my, he was set too. Well, he maybe kind of got there after the guy went in the air, I'm not sure. That first. is his second personal foul. And the first, according to the board. Got him with two. Wraps free throw. 
Well, we'll go with the official scorer there. Yeah, let's do. <laughs> they tie the game at 12. That's the fourth team foul on the line. 5.55 remaining in the second quarter. Second throw on its way. Good. Oh, excuse me. You're right. I put it on. I got two Alexes right together. I put it on Johnson. It is Alex Yoxel's first personal foul. Andrew all alone. Three-pointer on its way. Front rim no good. And Sacred Heart clears the board. Rapp with the ball. Crossover dribble. And he goes. No good. He's all over the Allison's back. Jack Allison, good rebound. That's Chavez. He's a pesky one. Johnson. Good help defense by Sacred Heart. Blocking foul on Chavez. Chavez, good deal. That's his second. And it'll be a one and one for Andrew Jackson. Seventh team foul on the Knights. The Oxel to the free throw line. It is a one and one. First throw on its way. Back rim, no good. Free throws are going to be important in this game. Rapp with the ball. Out to Martin. Over to Chavez. Pass is intercepted by Andrew Yoxel. Boy, stepped right in that passing lane. Those skip passes, if you're watching for them, they're available. And a nice steal there by Andrew. Now man-to-man -man defense by Sacred Heart. Little, uh, moving screen, I guess. Yep. Alex must have stuck a shoulder out. Second foul. Out on. ran over him. 33, it says. Do you have a 33 out there? Nope. Nope. Kelly was on the bench. It couldn't be him. Out front, Richards with the ball for Sacred Heart. Nice help defense by Alex Yoster. Wrap. Way out on top. He walked before he put the ball on the floor, but no call. Richards now with the ball. Out front. Now wrap baseline drive. Scoop shot, no good, and the follow-up is good. Andrew Yox is going to be tagged over the back here. Dooley, Dalton Dooley up and in with that stick back. And they do have that foul on Andrew Yoxel. It's his second. Team's sixth foul. Missed it. Yoxel comes down to the rebound, but unfortunately standing on the line. The Knights get the ball back, leading by three, 15 to 12, 423 remaining in the half. A little momentum swing here going for the Knights. A little different lineup for Big Blue. Richards with the ball out on the wing. Minneapolis zoning up here. In foul trouble. Has a walk. No call. Shot off the glass and good is Martin. We're up by five now. 17 to 12. Darrow. Shot, good. 17-14, falling away shot there by Darrow. A reach-in foul by Darrow. Gonna put the Knights at the line for a one and one His first, team seven. That's the Dietrich kid right there. Uh, from one end of the court to the other, I don't know that we can not run him. No. <laughs> Free throw, no good. Back rammed it. Both teams missed their front end of their first one and one. Josh Macy, left wing, dribble drive, all the way in he goes, shot, good. That's what it's gotta take, shoot with confidence, and he does. Almost a steal by, a walk by Martin. Great anticipation by Alex Johnson there on that pass for the Knights, he broke it up. 
They got it back, but it got them out of Kilper. Little shuffle step over there as whistled and Bossinger back in as Dietrich will get a breather. So we were down five, now we're just down one. 17-16. And we got the ball. John Kelly, John Darrow asking for a screen and gets it. Bossinger gives up on him. Johnson, long shot, front rim. Boy, everyone went for that, and Sacred Heart comes out of with it. Dooley has it. Back out front, that's a walk. Could have taken the shot. Wassinger took the step, and then back, back up, moved the other foot, and that was an extra step. Johnson throws it away. Vandervoort smartly brings it back out as Darrow is right there. Jump shot, front rim, no good. Johnson has the rebound, and the reach-in foul is there as Wassinger tries to reach in there and knock that ball loose. We're shooting free throws. Alex Johnson will go to the free throw line. I don't know if I've seen him shoot a free throw yet this year. Uh, if we have, it's not been many. Let's just pencil them in, Dale. <laughs> Good. That's the front end of the one and one. Well, we're missing our third cog in our wheel up here. Scott went home. He's a little bit under the weather. Tried to get it out for a little while. Scotty, we hope you get repaired and back to full strength ASAP. Johnson hits them both. Puts us up 18 to 17. Nice help defense down low. We good double team. McKinsky back in. Skip pass to Vandervoort has to climb the ladder to get that one. He Two jumped th away up there. 235 left. McKinsky just throws the arm back and knocks John Kelly to the floor. Shot no good. Allison fouled over the back after he got the rebound. McKinsky. Is that McKinsky? Yeah. Yep. That's, it. that's why you don't like to play him, but that's his third. And Coach Martin took a chance on it, but a little over aggressive and over the back. When you reach in like that, yeah, he tipped it away, but also caught him with the body. They're calling him fairly close here tonight, and that's fine with me. Yeah, you got to keep control of a game like this. Lines up by one, see if we can extend the lead here. Free throw by Zach, no good. John Kelly, good. Big rebound by John Kelly and the putback. Puts us up by three, our biggest lead of the night, 20 to 17, after being down by five. Wassinger in the corner, back out front, Vandervoort. Left hand jump shot, no good. Wassinger has the rebound and Zach Allison is gonna be whistled with the block. That'll give Sacred Heart a one and one. Zach second with a minute 54 to go in the half. See if we can keep him from getting number three. That looks like everybody has two. Wassinger to the free throw line. Alex Yost is gonna come in. That is good. And get Zach out of there. Just keep him out of harm's way here. Well, Alex has two also. Oh, okay. <laughs> he got them both. 20 to 19, Minneapolis, 154 to go in the half. Darrow clears the timeline, 131. Zone defense by Sacred Heart. And they will trap you in the corner. That's what it's designed for, a three-pointer. Yeah, falling away three by Darrow. 23-19, Minneapolis, 134 to go. Big bucket there by John Michael. Out front, Vandervoort. Wrap. Now skip pass to Vandervoort. Baseline shot, no good. Oh, Catch three. three. That's a foul. Come on, man. Martin over the back, along with Wassinger. And the ref just holds his hand. Alex Johnson paid the price yeah, for getting that rebound, nice. and they get the ball out of bounds. 
incredible. I have to say they got away with one there. Martin back out to Vandervoort. Now Wassinger back into Martin. Wassinger shot good. 23-21, a minute five to go in the second quarter. We're going to run the clock, and I don't imagine we will shoot until two seconds are left on the clock. Unless they want to foul us. Coach Martin says, put us in the double bonus. Go out there a little bit, and we're going to play catch. Skip pass to Kelly. Macy, now back to Darrow, 20 to shoot. Still on a 1-3-1, one, one. Sacred Heart does not want to come out of it. Darrow clears the five second count. Three pointer on its way, oh. Oh, in and out, no good. Kelly with the rebound. Yoxel shot, good! Great <laughs> rebound by Kelly. And a follow away shot by Alex Yoxel with a big grin on his face here as he leaves the court. Way to go, Alex. Nothing but net. <laughs> the Lions with their biggest lead of the night here to end the half, leading 25 to 21. Again, we were down five to start the third quarter here, Mike. Yeah, I thought we were actually, we're, if we could maintain that, I thought we would be doing good. But we uh, surpassed that. We came back in flying colors and took a four-point lead into halftime. That's a wonderful job by the guys. Well, we'll take a break here. We're from our sponsors, and uh, Michael figure out what stats he was able to keep here as he called the game. We'll oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lions Den. Well, Mike's got his stats figured up. Point totals for the first half. Uh, they are unofficial. I tried to get them all on close. 25-21 at halftime for Sacred Heart. Jo Jacob Vandervoort with three. Brandon Rapp with four. Brad McKinsky did not score. Tony Chavez with four. Travis Wassinger with four. Josh Martin with four. And Corey Dooley with two. For Minneapolis, and we haven't seen this all year long, seven kids score That's in amazing. the first half. Josh Macy with two. Andrew Yoxel, who did turn an ankle in the first half. Looks good to go, but had seven. John Michael had five. Alex Johnson had two from the free throw line. Alex Yoxel had four, none bigger than that fadeaway jumper at the buzzer. Zach Allison with two, and John Kelly with a big showing there in the first half. Played a lot of good minutes, but a uh, couple of offensive rebounds down oh, low down there and that stick back. He uh, finished the first half with three. So the guys are holding uh, holding their own. It's a pretty good ball game, good defensive game. And uh, the Knights uh, wrap, no, McKinsky with three, Chavez with two, Reardon with two. The Lions have uh, Andrew Yoxel with two, Alex Johnson with two, Alex Yoxel with two, Zach Allison with two, so we need to keep our nose clean with those guys on fouls if we can as the third quarter gets started up here. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, Dale, and clip on fans that uh, just move a little air. Yeah. It's being provided by a filmer from Sacred Heart. It's a little warm up here. Always does get warm here. It could be 40 below outside, and it'll be warm up here, I guarantee it's you. It's still warm here. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Substate, Mike. Uh, the Lions are assigned this year to play Substate at Lions, Kansas. Uh, the other, all the eight teams at Substate won't be an easy task, ne task necessarily for the boys or the girls, but the Bullet Trojans are there. TMP Marion is there from Hayes. Hoisington is there. Lions, who's not having a real good season right now, is there. Minneapolis, Russell, Sacred Heart, 
and St. John's Military. And that will affect the uh, boys only, St. John's Military, the girls, whoever is the top rated, top uh, seeded team in the tournament uh, on the girls' side will draw a bye since St. John's Military is a boys' school only. Uh, but there's going to be on the boys' side and the girls' side both ways uh, some different challenges from the various schools. Uh, but uh, and numerous, no, no easy, numerous. yeah, nothing easy there. It's going to be a tough road to hoe. But as I told Scott, I've just learned over the years: if you're going to get the state, if you're going to win the state, you got to beat them somewhere. So you might as well. And you really only have off. to worry about half of them because the other half's going to get knocked off yeah, by, by, <laughs> by, by one half. So, so you don't know what half you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, southeast of Saline. Uh, was assigned to Sedgwick. Uh, their opposing teams will be Hillsboro, Halstead, Hutch Trinity, Marion, Mound Ridge, Sedgwick, and Remington. Uh, other other uh, squads in the NCAA are Class 2A, Ellsworth, and Republic County is assigned to El Saline. Uh, some other schools in that will also be Bennington and Smith Center. So that won't be an easy substate for any of those schools either. But Republic County is just playing lights out right now. They've been losing by 24 good ball. points at home the other night. So uh, pretty good ball. Yep. So that's uh, a little ways down the line yet. <laughs> It'll be here before you know it, but uh, uh, it's, it's not like it's going to be an easy substate. And we tend to get into those that are fairly tough, but I have never seen one quite this tough with that amount of quality I uh, am trying teams to, in there. I am trying to monitor uh, as time goes along the uh, results of these various teams in our substate. Uh, the only one I don't have right now is uh, the results of Hayes TMP girls against Fiddlesburg the last game. That have looked a few days. Let's see. Uh, right now, Hoisington's doing pretty good on the boys' side. Minneapolis is doing good. Sacred Hearts is doing good. I'd say those are the top three boys' teams. Uh, Hayes TMP for the girls is looking good. Hoisington's looking good on the girls. Minneapolis, of course. Russell can be real strong. And uh, just a reminder, especially those of you that uh, coach. Uh, Little League ball. I don't know what's going what, 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 it's, what, it's not NY, it's not NYB ball. Or what, what do you call the AAU? The younger kids playing basketball. What league are they in? Over at Y ball. Y ball. Uh, we want to thank Ken Hendricks for providing our scorebooks as he's done for the last three or four years. Century Scorebooks, 392-0058. Great books. We'll see if we can get all the way to the end, Kenny. <laughs> On both. That'd be wonderful. Getting ready to get started here again for third quarter action. Lions up by four, 25 to 21. That was a tough half of basketball. The Lions persevered in the second quarter, coming from five down, regain the lead, go up by four, and the Knights will have possession to start this third quarter. Both teams will start the same five as they started the game with coach Martin not yet done with instructions for his fighting Knights the Knights don't have near as many I still have near as many cheerleaders this year down from 15 to 10 or so Rap Chavez Reardon McKinsky and Vandervoort Possession arrow to Sacred Heart here to start. Second half. 25 21 Minneapolis leading. We're underway. Vandervoort in the backcourt guarded by Darrow. Still man to man defense and a walk by Vandervoort. Good defense over there by Darrow. As Vandervoort not quite ready to make the bounce pass. Drug the foot. Darrow all the way in, gets it off to Zach, passes it off to Chavez. He gets all the way to the basket, it's up and in. Well, it's 
careless move there on a pass. Results in a turnover and two points for the Knights. Johnson, good. Ten footer from the right side. Squared up to the basket, took that nice little 12 footer. When he has time, he's a pretty good shooter. Chavez does a lean over uh, shot, which goes in, and who's called for the foul? They're going to count the basket, too. Yep. Alex, John, Alex Oxel picks up his third foul. Oh, good grief. They called that the other way. I thought they were going to call a bank shot. No good. There's an over the back on number four. Rap is it? Rear down. Picks up the third one real quick. Reardon's third. Yoxel has three. He'll hit the bench. John Kelly in for Minneapolis. 27-25 Minneapolis. 7 7 to go in the quarter. We're going to leave Reardon in. He's playing with three. Didn't play in any. Less. Johnson baseline shot, no good. Andrew Yoxel. Nice move. Rap. Back to Rap. Long shot by Chavez. No good. Kelly. Reardon just bucking for that four. fourth foul, isn't he? Yeah. More than likely, he will get it. John they are calling them fairly close. John Dare is doing a great job running the offense here. Johnson throws it away. Twenty-nine, twenty-five, Minneapolis, six eighteen to go in the third. Dietrich back in. He's even fast bringing it in. They could have called Vandervoort with another walk. He drags that foot when he makes that pass. Chavez out front. Shot. Rimming off. No good. McKinsky had a touch. It went out of bounds. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. Andrew will walk it up. 5.52 left third quarter. Gets it off to Darrow. Guarded by Dietrich. In the lane he goes. High off the glass. Shot no good. Kind of hit the top of the backboard. I'm surprised that wasn't called dead. Dietrich loses the handle. Darrow all the way in. He is packed. Chavez does get his. You can't hack like that. You can block the shot, yes. But if you're going to hack, you will more than likely get whistled, and he was whistled with the foul. His third, second team foul for the night. John Darrow to the line for two. Good. Well, I don't know what his free throw percentage is this year, just, but it's darn good. It's over 80, I bet. I wouldn't think it's 90 yet, but he's been pretty solid last two or three games, that's for sure. 30-25 Minneapolis, five-point lead. Second one on its way, rimming off. Didn't have said anything, Dale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wassinger in. Vandervoort looking in for McKinsky. Wassinger now to Martin. Three seconds. McKinsky camped out in the lane, is whistled with a three-second violation. Dietrich up playing Darrow, and Yoxel will have to bring ball up. Nice shot. Nice jumper. Plays under, plays under control, a nice turnaround jump shot. Chop the key. Lines up by 7, 32-25. Tipped out by Darrow. Vandervoort will play it in for the Knights. 
Dietrich in the back. Gets it over to Wassinger. Biggest lead by either squad tonight. Minneapolis zoned up here, 2 3 zone. Andrews Yoxel, a great job. Wassinger, the last one to touch it, according to the referee down there. Of defense. Walking the tightrope. And we'll play it in. Martin is going to guard Yoxel. Three seconds on Allison. There's a mental error. When you go down, and I won't say nothing. 32-25, <laughs> Minneapolis still in lead here. Sacred Heart working against this 2-3 zone of Minneapolis. Mostly man-to-man -man so far, but all of a sudden we're in a zone. They throw it away. Reardon can't handle the pass. And Yoxel right there to pick up the loose ball. Vandervoort guarding Darrow, right wing. Crossover dribble, three-pointer on its way, no good. Oh, my. I think McKinsky hit the floor kind of on his own. I don't think we helped him no, much. No, he didn't. He just slipped. Gets up, cuts it out. R uh, Rapp has a problem getting a handle on the ball over there. Rapp looking for McKinsky inside. And he is going to be whistled with the foul. Yep. So Kelly, you cannot wrap that arm around. I think if he wouldn't have wrapped the arm around the back of Allison, he would have been fine because he was working for position and he had him on his hip. Then when you wrap that arm around, you're holding your opponent. And sometimes they won't call it, but they did there. Fourth foul on McKinsky. So it's going to be, yeah, we pass the ball up the court, do a fine job breaking pressure. Nice job. All the way to the basket. Darrow, layup, no good. Kelly, no good. Allison, he's hacked. Great. Yeah. Great job of the Lions post players keeping that ball alive, keeping it going up on the board. They drew the foul. Zach Allison going to the line for two. Three nineteen remaining in the third. The Lions up by seven, 32-25. Free throw on its way, rimming in. Make it eight. I don't have a Richards on my scores. Second one on its way, good. Five Zach nine. gets them both. 34-25. Sacred Hart working against this 2-3 zone. That's not a big enough lead to get comfortable with yet though, Mike. No, no, no. It's just three possessions. You got some kids that can hit those balls. He's Chavez kid has got it. A nice shot. Timeout, Sacred Heart. Quick 30 second timeout. We'll take one, two. Minneapolis leading 34 25. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Your Minneapolis hometown hardware is always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware Minneapolis. They've probably got it. At Lambert Insurance, Kit Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Welcome back. The Knights will inbound the ball after their timeout on the far side. Free throw line extended. Wrap to play it in for Sacred Heart. We're getting a little moisture mopped up. And they're using a towel tonight, Dale. Instead of feet. We relied on the tennis shoes up at Ellsworth, but uh, here we go. 
2.55 left third quarter. Vandervoort gets it off to Richards. They move Chavez down to the low block. Josh Macy has got to move down and cover that when they rotate through, and that's a walk. Wheels are kind of falling off for the Knights here. Perhaps they off. Turnover. Shuffled the pivot foot before we put the ball on the floor. Yoxel will walk the ball up as Dooley comes to get him. Good defense by Vandervoort on Darrow. He was calm, cool, and collected at that ball. Waiting for the Kelly faces the basket, has the ball taken away by Chavez. Gets it off to Rapp. All the way in he goes, shot block. What a Woo! play by Johnson all the way to Darrow. It's good. Alex Johnson, great steal. Kept his composure as he was falling down. Got that ball ahead to John Darrow, streaking down the court. He knew that there the was layup. a teammate headed down the court. He looked up the floor and gave him a pass right on the money. And Lines. Darrow hits the layup. Wow, what a play. Lines up by 11, 2.08 to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. <laughs> Here we go. Vandervoort with the ball in the backcourt, clears the timeline, gets a pick from Martin. In the corner, Chavez, shot on its way, no good. And Macy has the rebound for Minneapolis. Yoxel, three-pointer, no good. And Reardon, or uh, Rapp has the rebound for Sacred Heart. That would have been a killer. That would have been a part of a dagger. All the way around, Vanderbilt gets it back to Chavez. Top the key, gets it off the wrap. Martin, good help defense by Minneapolis. Johnson, Johnson, I think, over the back, call for the foul. Shooting foul. Yes. Second team foul. Second personal. The Knights have four fouls. Martin to the free throw line. He'll have two shots, first one rimming off. Knights haven't shot the ball real well from the free throw line here of late. Early on, they were deadly. That one is rimming off also. Andrew, Missed them both. Andrew Yoxel gets the rebound. Let's run the clock. Johnson with the ball, out on top. Chavez on him. Martin on Allison. Now Macy. Darrow, Vanderboard on him. We're running clock. Coach Shoup would like to see this thing down to maybe the last shot here in the third quarter. Chavez, boy, they double no team arrow and almost shove him into the backcourt. Andrew Yoxel with the ball, gets it off to Allison. Now the five second count starts. A foul by Chavez. Boy, Chavez gave, it, gave up on the double team. Well, they come to get Johnson. They, he's got some sharp elbows. They better watch out. <laughs> Alex Johnson into Andrew Oxel. Drop step. Up yeah! Shot 3.6 seconds. Yoxel bounces it off the glass. And in. And he'll... 
you have a chance. Dale, you can't three. draw it up any better than that. No, three no. and a half seconds left, and Yoxel gets the and one here. Free throw, front rim, no good. Chavez, not. And they lost track of time. Did not know how much time was on the clock or he would have let it rip. 38-25, Minneapolis with a 13-point lead. Going in the final stanza here, Minneapolis playing pretty good ball here. We'll be back with the final quarter here in just a minute. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, High Speed Internet, 910KINA, and 99KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New vehicles, including Buick and GMC trucks and SUVs, serving their customers since 1957. Bennett Autoplex Salina. Bennington State Bank is proud to support the Minneapolis Lions for the 2011-2012 season. We're proud to be a part of our great community and strive for excellence in our school, curriculum, and athletics. Go Lions in the 11-12 season from Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Salina, Bennington, Minneapolis, Wamego, Sylvan Grove, and Lucas, member FDIC. Welcome back to the Lions in Minneapolis with the ball possession to start fourth quarter. The way Kelly played well for, yeah, Double it was a walk. Dribble call on Alex Johnson. Alex Yoxel didn't get that ball put down to the floor quite soon enough and a traveling violation. Coach Shoup wants something to happen. Oh, like nice that. quick hands tip, by Andrew Yoxel. Tip the ball away as he's going underneath the basket. Pass is going to wrap on the back side. Coach must be losing his voice. Reared and in close, misses a chip shot. Allison with a big rebound. Reared and misses a bunny. Man, he's getting to be a horse under there. Yes, he is. What a rebound by Zach. Right wing, Alex Johnson. We might as well just run clock as we much as we can. We might as well quarter. take our time, hadn't we? I Andrew Yoxel, off balance shot, no good. Chavez clears the board for Sacred Heart. Wrap, shot, good. Timeout, Sacred Heart, 7-10 remaining in regulation. The line's up by 11, 38-27. That was a good looking shot by, by Andrew. It just didn't fall. Yeah, I think it's a little early in the possession. I think Coach Shoup would have liked, uh, as you mentioned, run just, you know, another 15, 20 seconds off and uh, maybe we even get a well. better look. But Make a foul. They've got five. Yep. Might as well get us to the line. Yep. We'll be right back. Want the ultimate adrenaline rush? Jump from planes, repel from helicopters, shoot the most sophisticated weapons on Earth. Find out more by calling the U.S. Army at 785-827-3666. There are careers in high demand that offer high pay. Learn the skills you need to receive top pay in programs like machine tool technology, welding, or HVAC at Salina Area Technical College. Life's a trip. Get directions and log on to salinatech.edu today. Welcome back to the Lions Den. Uh, the Knights have the ball, is that right? Yes, they call timeout. Yeah. Well, no, we have the ball. They call the oh, timeout after have, their okay. made basket. All right, that's right. And set up full court pressure. And Minneapolis will play it in. No, they're not going to full court pressure. Ball it's back. Interesting. Reardon playing with three personal fouls. And McKinsey has four on the bench. Left wing, Andrew Yoxel. Still a 2-3 zone, and uh, I think I'd make him come out after me. Almost thrown away. Alex Yoxel double-teamed. Alex Johnson, was, uh, Alex Yoxel, I keep going to Johnson, and I was in trouble over there in the corner. Made a dribble to get out of it, I think, but shoot, 
Colt yeah, Watson, out yeah, that once he picked up his dribble, he was out of harm's way, but it uh, looked like he was getting bailed out by the coach. We'll take a quick timeout, too. Minneapolis still leading 38-27. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to central Kansas and will continue this tradition. This fast track will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Races start this spring at Minneapolis Raceway, and they say go Lions. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wall will help you get your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Well, we did not see J.C. Crossan in the contest. I think she had mentioned after, after Christmas, Christmas break yep. they were going to sign off, say she's good to go. So she's been practicing. Maybe though, it's right? better that that way. Keep her strong for the second two-thirds of the season. Out front it goes, Andrew Yoxel back to Darrow. He looks at a three. Chavez was on him. They've gone back to the man-to-man. -man. Ooh, nice behind the back travel. Dribble by Andrew. We throw it away. Rapp has it. All the way to the basket, it's good. Great anticipation. Of Oh, and we throw it away again. No, they tipped it. They tipped it. They're going to give the ball to Sacred Heart, aren't they? They are. It was tipped by the Sacred Heart defender, but they didn't see it. Their lead's done single digits. Or they're, they trailed by single digits now, 38-29. Make that seven. We might have to go back on the attack, Mike. This Reardon isn't uh, quite the same as the other brothers, is he? No. Nope. We're still going to run clock. We're going to go to the free throw line. Or cousin, I'm not sure which. He's gassed. Yep. <laughs> I would be. Come on, Jesus. Chavez with the mugging at half court. That'll be the sixth team foul on Sacred Heart. Now, McKinsky and McKinsky and Chavez with four personal fouls. Reardon almost staggers to the sideline there. He's so tired. We throw it to the backcourt. Good no call. Hey, whiz. Alex gets. Yeah, Chavez just picked up his fifth foul right there. Alex gets knocked over. Yep. He had his arm right across his shoulder, just like that, riding him all the way down the lane. He's gone. Chavez, is that that's five? a good call. Yeah, that's five. That's a good call. I mean, the ref was right there. I. You Andrew. don't let a guy lay on him going down the lane. Brother Andrew Yox says, check it out, younger brother Alex. Alex says, get away from me. I'm staying in. <laughs> Wassinger will come in to replace Chavez. Well, that takes away a good shot for the Knights and a good defender. Darrow to the free throw line. We need him to go down, and we do. We're in the one-on-one -on -one from here on. Lions have two fouls, but the Knights have ways to go before they get to the line other than a shot. We get them both. Wassinger, he can shoot also. Not as prolific as Chavez. Chavez can elevate. Wassinger off in the corner. Shot by Vandervoort is good. It's a three. The lead six now for the Knight Lions, 40 to 34. Five minutes to play in this contest. I'm out. Andrew is in trouble. Nobody's coming out to help him. 
Well, he missed his brother, and he had his back turned to him. Alex was open, and he could have handed it off to him, but a quick call by Coach Shoup. Coach Shoup had a four and five-eighths count, and a timeout, quick timeout. We'll take one, too. Minneapolis still leading 40-34. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, happy to be a Minneapolis Lions backer. Welcome back to the gym. The final, what we hope is the final 454 of regulation with the Lions maintaining the lead right now, 40 to 34, with the ball. I'm sure we will continue to run clock here. Yep. Vanderboard over the back. Just his first personal foul. Puts John Michael to the free throw line. Eight team foul. Before you know it, they'll be in that double bonus, Dale. Yep. Darrow's first throw on its way. It's good. Forty-one thirty-four, Minneapolis with a seven-point lead. And John Michael's second throw on its way. Front ram, no good. Lossinger with the ball. Allison anticipates the pass and steals. Well, Dooley was backing up a little bit. I think he lost his balance, and Allison right there for the easy pick. Wrapped is very strong and very quick. Just about picked the pocket of Josh Macy, 436 left in this contest. Richards, uh, Richards intercepts, Darrow steal, or fouls. Which was a good foul. On it was third, a good foul. On his third team foul, his second. Boy, we've struggled passing ball in here lately. 434 remaining in regulation. We zone up. Rap out to Richard. Back to Rap. Baseline drive all the way in. Royalton's off. That's tipped and last touch by Dooley. And it will be Minneapolis ball. We play it in quickly to Andrew Yoxel. Up the court he goes. Dietrich. There are two of them, one Aaron and one of them Drew. Drew the speedster. He was shielding the ball. Yes. Rap trying to get to it. I'd stay out of his way. He looks like he's well put together. Yep. We'll play it in right in front of the scorer's desk. We throw it to the backcourt. Good choice. Vandervoort guarding Darrow. Clears the timeline. All the way to the basket. Kicks it out to Andrew. Baseline jump shot. Rimming off. Andrew Yoxel with the foul. Alex. Alex Yoxel with the foul, excuse me. Rap way up there for that rebound. Great rebound by Rap. Fourth team foul. Alex is fourth That's foul. That's Alex's fourth foul. The other Dietrich comes in. Aaron Dietrich. 356 remaining in regulation. The line's up by seven. It's like he's just about as fast as his brother. 34. Baseline Richard. All the way in he goes. Off the glass. Shot no good. Good grief. That rap kid. He wants to win this thing. He's carrying this club right now. For Sacred Heart. 41-36, Minneapolis. Darrow, jump shot, no good. They're not hitting nothing all of a sudden. They have to play defense. 
Rapp out on top, gets it off to Richard. Dietrich. Lions lead is five. Spacing is everything when you attack a zone. Coach Martin winning a little motion also as he wants his post to switch positions and now Richard gets a pick. Rapp all the way in, almost loses it. Not an extremely good ball handler, but man, he can jump. Dietrich back to Rapp. Richard jump shot in the lane, no good. And the tip goes out to Alex Johnson. As a big miss and a big rebound and a big stop right there for a Minneapolis defense. Alex Yoxel with the ball. Come on. Thank you. Rap with the mugging. Ninth team foul. Johnson to the line for a one on one. Wraps on uh, first personal foul. He's gassed too. He ought to be the way he's been playing. He's played hard. He has played extremely hard. He's carried this Sacred Heart Ball Club here in the fourth quarter. Johnson will get a one and one here. First one on its way. Good. Alex Johnson. Hit the front end of the one and one, puts Minneapolis out to a six point lead. Two possession ball game, he got them both. That's what the doctor ordered. Richards on the move, gets it off to Dietrich, guarded by Yoxel, spin move. On the baseline he goes, gets all the way to the glass. What a rebound by Alex Yoxel. Swipe the glass. <laughs> that was a heck of a rebound right there. Darrow out front, gets it off to Johnson, right wing. Guarded by Vandervoort. Gets it off to Allison. Now Yoxa, under two minutes. Another trip to the free throw line. Yeah, they're found, they're smart. Martin with the reach in foul. That's the ninth. Just be ten. It might be That's 10. the double bonus from here on. It is 10, or should be 10. Yes, that means Zach will get two throws here. Zach at the free throw line. Good. Lions extend their lead to eight, 44-36. Three out of six from the charity stripe for Allison. Make it four out of seven. Nope. He has a tendency to do that. Yeah. He steps over the line. He fell, actually falls forward. And sometimes his foot inches over before the ball hits the rim. Minute 50 in this contest. Dietrich with the ball. And Coach Martin wants a timeout. And he's going to take a full timeout. Trailing by eight. Going to be trying to see some three point shots going here. For You're going to see a couple, that's for sure. Minneapolis in the lead late in this contest against Sacred Heart. We'll be back after this one minute timeout. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs and loans, online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Well, it's a good ball game. It's still a good ball game. It will be right to the very end. We anticipated this. It's uh, always fun when these two teams get together. No matter whether it's in Salina or here, it's a good, good game. Knights inbound the ball. Dietrich down the lane he goes. Three-pointer on its way. Vandervoort off the front of the rim, no good. Darrow has the rebound, and that was a good stop right there. The three, as you mentioned, Dale, was going up. But a uh, little bit beyond Vandervoort's range. 
front rimmed it. Now Yoxel, right wing, guarded by Dooley, and Dooley's in there to make that foul, and they didn't call it the first time. They did the second time. Yoxel will go to the free throw line. Coach Martin is wanting that foul maybe a little sooner than that. Nope. Coach Two shot foul. Does not want him in there. Stay away from the rebounds, guys. We don't have any fouls on rebound attempts here. Okay. Late in the game. First free throw, good. 45-36, Minneapolis, 119 remaining in regulation. Typical Minneapolis game, we get out to the lead and we win it at the free throw line in the fourth quarter and that's exactly what we're doing tonight. Andrew's second one is up and in. Kelly comes in for Allison. We've shot 10 free throws here in the fourth quarter. Made nine of them. Dietrich off to Vandervoort. Baseline drive. Skips it across to Rapp. Had an extra step. Now a long shot on its way. No good. Back rim. Enduro. Quick to that. Rapp with a reach in. Foul. It's a good foul. They need to foul soon. I know Coach Martin would just as soon one of those threes drop for him, but uh, nonetheless, Darrow goes to the free throw line. Rapp with a reach in foul. John Michael will get two. One of the referees uh, needed to say something to Pat Martin, coach. Yes. Quick little say so, and, Pat and Mr. Uh, Coach Martin knows it. Calm down, Coach. <laughs> he said okay. He wanted to win it just as bad as we did. You betcha. 59.8 seconds left in the regulation. Lines up by 11 now. 47-36. Make that 12. Got them both. 48-36. You know, they Sacred Heart whittled it down to five. I was starting to get a little. Yep sweat was starting to form on my forehead and I was about ready to take the fan this and that was not a good foul you don't want to do that Zach gosh let him go but a good move by Dietrich Aaron Dietrich gets all the way to the rack and is fouled he'll have a chance for the and one and coach Shoup is going to Maybe have a chat with Zach. Free throw rimming off. Andrew has it. And, he's and a fouled. quick foul. I think Vandervoort with the reach in foul. No, it's on Martin. His third. Oh, they've got him four. I'll go with them. Andrew Yoxel back to the free throw line. Front rim. Well, you can't make them all, but you like nice. to 95% of them. Yeah. <laughs> Second so. throw on its way. It is good. Zach Allison's going to come back in for Macy. Uh, well, a little situation uh, play Macy and Allison here down the stretch. Allison on defense. Macy on offense. Little ball handling help. That was tipped by Johnson to the backcourt. Vandervoort rescues it. Three pointer on its way. Not good. Oh, come on. Man. Martin tried for that offensive board over the back of Andrew. Alex, Alex, Alex just a little bit of a push. Alex has been getting beat up here this second half. And that would be Martin's fifth foul, I believe. Reardon's a little rested. He's going to come back in. Alex Yox over the line for two. Good. John Kelly's going to come in, I think. 
Yep. Alex Shoxel in the double bonus, second throw on its way. He's a good free throw shooter also. Yeah. I wanted to say that after he made that second one. I didn't want to jinx him by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we don't jinx him. Under 30, Dietrich. Good crossover dribble back out to Reardon. Three-pointer on its way, no good. And Andrew Yoxel wrapped with the reach-in foul on Andrew. 19.4 seconds to go. Andrew, the line for two. Well, everyone played hard tonight. It was a good ball game. No doubt about it. Minneapolis defense just a little stronger tonight. I think Sacred Heart may have a little stronger offense when it comes down to it, but unable to get by Minneapolis here tonight. Their defense isn't quite as strong as Minneapolis. Correct. I'll have to agree with you on that one. Andrews, second throw. Front rim. No good. Dietrich. Wrap around. Saw traveling. Alex got the rebound, but tripped over. Uh, well, Martin had already hit the floor down there. Second right, I mean, heart players laying on the floor. Rap with her. Um, I think his Reardon was already on the floor down there and just had nowhere to go. Kelly goes in for Alex Yoxel. Uh, Macy comes in for Darrow. Mace is in the game. Reed Brock's in the game. And Colin Briggs is in the game. 11 seconds left. Dietrich way out front to Rapp. Back to Dietrich. Out front, Rapp, three-pointer, bank shot, no good. And Kelly. We left a rebounder in there, didn't we, Dale? Yes. That Kelly just raked that one down. What a win for the Lions here in the Lions' den here tonight. Turning away the Sacred Heart Knights. Very good Sacred Heart Knight team. 52-38. And we'll be back with point totals and some stats here in just a minute. Welcome back to the gym, Dale. What a big victory. I'm, not, I'm just beside myself. It's a heck of a win for us here tonight. Big, 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 big victory. I hoped we I had great confidence, actually, not just hopes. I had great confidence that the Lions would be victorious tonight, both squads, but I did not imagine that the boys would win by this total. Point totals for Sacred Heart. Vandervoort had six. Rapp had ten. Tony Chavez had eight. Wassinger had six. Martin had four. Dietrich had two. And Dooley had two. Josh Macy had two for Minneapolis. John Michael Darrow had 11. Andrew Yoxel had 19. Alex Johnson had four. Alex Yoxel had eight. Zach Allison with five. John Kelly had three. And in the fourth quarter, Coach, I'm sure you're going to like to hear this. We were 14 of 18 from the charity strike. Yeah, that's nice. I'd like 18, I thought 18 I'd get better. <laughs> but boy, down the stretch, uh, we shot free throws, shot them well with confidence, and uh, it's uh, atypical Minneapolis finish ahead by 11 or 12 at the end of the third quarter and uh, beat them at the free throw line down the stretch. Yeah, you know, uh, we, you know, watching film coming into this game, we thought that we would have a chance to win it at the free throw line. Um, if we ran our offense and were aggressive to the rim, I think we could have been more aggressive to the rim tonight. But when we needed to, we got there. Um, and, uh, you know, we knocked them down. And on the defensive end, my big thing was don't give them layups. You know, take care of the boards. And uh, we did those things. We kept them in front of us, made them take shots with hands on their face and rebounded. And that's, you know, whether it was a zone or man, it didn't matter. We just needed to get that done tonight. And the kids did a good job. Early in the second quarter, we were down by five. Uh, we ended up uh, outscoring them 16 to 10 to take, I can't remember what the lead was in at half, but uh, what's, what do you, 25, uh, what happened? 21. 25, uh, four points, what happened? Well, I, I don't know. I thought earlier on in the game, 
we still some we get really impatient sometimes we're not willing to you know understand that you can attack the defense sometimes by playing side to side not always going to the basket and mm -hmm. I thought as the half wore on we did a better job of getting some ball reversals getting their defense out of position and then getting some easier looks mm -hmm. and, and getting some better rebounding position and uh, you know I think that was probably the biggest key we talked a lot about it it's not as good as we'd like it but it's getting better so you know, they, they crashed the boards hard all oh, yeah. night long. Uh, they physical. did a great job of crashing the boards, but we held our own. I don't know what yeah. our rebounding totals were. Our Zach Allison, John Kelly, both those guys uh, just really did a great job from the post positions, and supported by the Oxel brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, and our defense was just, boy, we clamped down in the second quarter. We're, we're starting to understand how to play some good team defense. We had some really bad breakdowns we talked about them at halftime and we we took some of those disappeared in the second half which was big and i thought that's what caused them some problems as they weren't able to get some of the things they were getting in the first half um you know it, it's a it's a growing process for us we got kids still learning and and uh, sure. but they're working hard and they're playing together you know i thought we did a good job tonight of when there's Guys, our guys were on the floor running over and picking them up and being good teammates. And, and uh, you know, when you do that stuff, you want to play for each other. And, and these guys are improving in that area a lot. Two successive games, really, of the Lions playing very well together at Salesworth and here against Sacred Heart tonight. Uh, they've really gelled. I mean, they're coming together well. Yeah, we're, the kids are doing a good job. And, and boy, we better because Sacred Heart's a good basketball team with a ton of athletes. and. You know, we come out of break and we play an undefeated yeah. Republic County team who I think right now their average margin of victory. Well, I'm sorry, they've lost to Concordia yeah. by two, but their margin of victory is like something somewhere around 20. So they beat Beloit by 24. That's all it's got to tell you. So, you know, and then Southeast. And, and it just, you know, with our league, it's a good league, and you got to be ready to play. Well, Coach, you can, if the kids get to watch this film, you can talk about composure a little bit. Uh -huh. I thought the last two games, we have just played under control throughout. We we played as a team. Uh, we played good team defense. The help defense is just excellent. Uh, and, uh, you know, you might have a breakdown, you say that, but looks like they play pretty good together. But, mm -hmm. you know, I thought tonight uh, Chavez and uh, McKinsky, they lost their composure early in this yeah. ball game, and they never got it back. And they mm -hmm. weren't even a factor in the game. Our kids did a really Two of their best yeah, players. I yeah, think. and they're both very good players. And, and you know, I got to give all the credit to our kids. They did a really good job of, of moving their feet and uh, making sure they're always in a position to contest those kids' shots and keeping them off the boards. And, you know, I thought we did the same thing against Glazer at Ellsworth. He got to the line. He made some tough shots, but he was always challenged all night. And I think our kids did that again tonight. Oh, no doubt about it. They... Those Sacred Heart players knew they had a good defense on them. They were yeah. having to search for a, sh a shot, yeah. Yeah. and uh, it was frustrating them. You could see it. Yeah, yeah. kids did well. I know the thing that impressed me was uh, first half totals right there. We had seven kids that scored. Mm -hmm. You played, all kids played well that came in, and mm -hmm. I, you know, when you count that up, you see, you know, everyone scored and played. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah, they did everyone contributes. Job. Yeah, everybody's contributing. I thought the defense uh, just pretty salty again tonight. It was good the other night, again, real good against El Ellsworth, and it was good here tonight, too. So, congrats. That's a good Thanks win. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Anytime it. Anytime we beat Sacred Heart, huh? Yeah, have a good Christmas, <laughs> Merry guys. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, the number six ranked Minneapolis Lions and the Lady Lions, who don't, haven't cracked the top ten yet, both undefeated. And they bring you a Merry Christmas greeting, both undefeated as we head to Christmas break. My uh, stocking is still empty at the house, so I hope Santa <laughs> stops by sometime. <laughs> not supposed to fill that stocking to well, at Christmas Eve. You know. Well, I hope Scott gets feeling better. It's tough when uh, the old flu bug comes in, kind of made him a little weak need, and it's, tar it's hard for him to stand more than anything, but uh, wasn't feeling well. And Dale, I hope. You and your family has a wonderful Christmas, and we have ours tomorrow. Oh, all right. Here, well, the Perry portion of it. My brothers and sisters, anyway. I don't think we're going to do any Christmasing until Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but uh, we'll try to do the best. Uh, we thank you all for listening to us on SalinaPost.com, Eagle Communications Channel 2, both live audio 
tape replay on Eagle Communications Channel 20. We really do appreciate you us having in your home the source for Lion Sports here. And uh, have a great, great Christmas break. And we'll be back raring to go in Belleville, Kansas on January 3rd. Boy, getting after it real early <laughs> in the month yep. as uh, we go to Republic County to test those two squads. And those will be big games, tough, tough games. But the Lady Lions and the Minneapolis Lion boys are, are both uh, at least tied for the league lead and need to continue that. So That's always good to hear, isn't it? You betcha. So Merry Christmas to you. With that, Dale Leach and... And Mike Curry. Going to sign off, and Scott Oshman also, again, get well, Scott. Thanks, folks. Merry Christmas.